We're going to start the project off by cutting some rectangular strips out of a black piece of cardstock. When you go to measure something with a metal edge ruler, make sure you pay attention to the end of the ruler because there's usually a little bit of a space between where the inch marker starts and the end of the ruler. So knowing that, I like to start off my measurements a little bit inside, uh, like maybe at the two or the three inch marker, and then just measure over, for, for instance, we're measuring half inch strips, so just measure over half an inch all the way down the ruler. And make sure when you're making your marks, you look right up over this, the inch uh, markers or the half inch markers because there's a space between the cork and the top of the ruler. And if you don't look right up over the stitch marks, that spatial difference will cause you to have your measurements off. When you go to draw, you don't actually have to draw these lines. Okay, so this is kind of a waste of time. Um, you want to start off on this other end. If you're right-handed, right, you can you can just line up the ruler with the cork side up. Now it's a little bit slippery with the cork side up, right? So you have to be careful when you're putting pressure that you're putting pressure down on the ruler and the ruler's not sliding, right? The ruler's very easy to slide when you have the cork side up. The reason why you want the cork side up is because when you go to use your knife, right? If the cork side is down, there's about a sixteenth of an inch space and your knife will get trapped under it and you won't get a nice clean line. Okay. My body position in relationship to my ruler is such that the ruler is perpendicular to my stance, right? It's much safer and easier to make a clean cut straight line if you are standing up over.